Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are on to week 8 of our flight mechanics class. So let's go ahead and take a look at the roadmap of where we are headed. Um, and actually the first part of week 8 is actually a continuation of our week 7 discussion. So just remember last week in week 7 we basically looked at developing a system to trim our aircraft at a specific operating condition, right? We wrote our own code, we wrote our own effectively numerical optimization routine that did the trimming for us. So what I wanted to do is finish up that discussion on trimming by actually looking at how can we use some MATLAB tools to do that trimming process for us so we don't have to write it all ourselves. I mean, it's nice that we now know all of the math and engineering behind how to write a trim routine, but MathWorks has already built a nice tool for us to do this, so I want to look at using this tool to carry out a very similar workflow. So that's what this first video is about, is how to use the linear analysis tool in MATLAB Simulink to basically do uh, the same trimming operation. And in fact, maybe let's hop over to the homework and we'll see that the first problem for homework 8 problem 1 is basically repeat what we did in homework 7 but using the tool. So again, just to refresh your memory, let me pull up homework seven and maybe we can look at these things side by side. And again, this is not anything majorly um, interesting, but remember last week in homework seven, problem two, we basically wrote our own code to trim the aircraft at steady state, straight and level flight at 85 meters a second heading due north, right? So this problem, right? You wrote your own optimization code to do this. You wrote a script and basically did the numerical optimization yourself. All I want you to do for problem one homework eight is to get the exact same answer, but use the MATLAB Simulink linear analysis tool to do that. So, um, you, be, you end up at the exact same uh, endpoint, you just got there in a different fashion. Both of these two systems should give you the same answer. Um, one, you had to do yourself on the left, and on the right, this week, we're just gonna use the MATLAB tool. So, that's, uh, that's the first problem. Now, at this point, I think we've gotten a good handle on trimming this. So someone hands you a dynamic system, you're able to define actual trim conditions and uh, run a trimming routine to obtain trim states and trim controls, right? Now, the next thing that most people want to do is once you have this system trimmed, is we would like to understand the behavior of this system near this trim point. So we want to linearize the system. Remember, what we had earlier is a nonlinear dynamic system, right? It was a nonlinear set of ODEs. What I want to do is I can find the trim point or an equilibrium point for these ODEs or this system. And now I'm going to linearize the system about that operating point. And we're, the way we're going to linearize that, that's the discussion for the rest of of this current week eight we are going to also write our own numerical techniques and numerical tools that is going to perform this trimming uh, excuse me the linearization operation for us and we're going to see that really linearizing a system it's really just talking about numerically calculating partial derivatives of a function at a very specific location um, in the uh, in state space okay so that's what this first video is it's talking about just a very mathematically sterile discussion on if you have some function how do you numerically calculate partial derivatives of that function okay now this is going to now be leveraged down here when we actually use it to numerically linearize a dynamic system. Now what I will mention is in between this there are two potential videos that you might want to check out. These are two optional videos and again these are prerequisites because I know you've already seen these in AE501 or in a previous math class so if you want a refresher on things like what a Jacobian matrix is and what the Taylor series is uh, feel free to check out these two videos, but again, you've already watched them, so if you uh, if you're if if it's fresh in your mind, feel free to skip these. I just wanted to provide these details in case you wanted um, another bite at the apple or another uh, perspective on this. But down here, all we're doing is we're going to see is we're basically taking our systems of ODEs, our our nonlinear dynamic equations. We are going to then linearize it about the trim point we found in week seven, and what this means is we're going to see linearization just means calculating a whole bunch of numerical partial derivatives. Okay, so that's all this is. And again, this is is like the hand method. If you want to do this by yourself from scratch, this is how you would go about it. Alternatively, just like the trimming technique, right? 
MATLAB has a nice tool and they've got um, operations and functions and infrastructure in place that is going to allow you to trim these systems auto or excuse me to linearize them automatically. So this last video is talking about using some MathWorks tools to again validate the approach that we took earlier and basically again end up at the same um, endpoint using a different technique. So week eight is all about linearizing your system. So at the end of the day, what we hope to get out of this discussion is basically a linear model and x dot is equal to ax plus bu effectively. Okay, so with that roadmap out of the way, let's take a look at the homework, right? We already talked about problem one. Problem two is I want to look at a very simple dynamic system. So this is not a six degree of freedom nonlinear aircraft model. It's a one degree of freedom, super simplified rocket model where I'm shooting a rocket from Earth to the moon and I'm going to make some gross assumptions on on um, the model. But let's say that you've got some some equation of motion that, you know, here's what the drag looks like. Here's what the engine thrust looks like. You can go ahead and make yourself a state vector for this model and a control vector and basically get yourself equations of motion, right? This is effectively... Um, F equals MA, right? This is a this is a one-dimensional, um, nonlinear dynamic ordinary uh, ordinary differential equation, right? That's what problem part A is. Okay, so you get yourself a state space representation of this system, and then let's suppose that you've got this, you know, operating at a certain condition. You can think of this as like your trim point, if you'd like. Okay, and all I would like to do now is go through this operation that we talk about in um, the videos about you've got a dynamic system, you've got an operating point, let's go ahead and linearize this system about this operating point. And like we said earlier, this is going to involve numerically calculating a lot of partial derivatives. Okay, so one thing that I've seen students kind of uh, get a little bit tripped up on is I provide you these graphs here. So you're going to want um, to know, you're going to need to know what the gravity is at any given altitude. You're also going to need to know the air density at any given altitude. And what we're going to see is when you're calculating these um, partial derivatives, you're going to have to do things like find the slope of some of these curves. And all I want you to do is finding the slope really just means come in here and approximate what the slope is. So literally get yourself a ruler find tangent lines where you think it's appropriate and find out what are the slope of these. You're going to need some of those terms. Okay. So that's this problem. Problem two is a very simplified ODE, uh, a nonlinear ODE that we want to linearize and turn into a set of linear ODEs about this particular operating point. Okay. So hopefully that gets everyone um, a rough idea of just the general methodology of how we're going to go about linearizing a dynamic system. And then in problem three, what we're going to do is let's go ahead now and instead of using a simplified silly little rocket example, let's use our full six degree of freedom aircraft model and linearize it. So what I'd like you to do for part A is make a function that if you give this function a set of um, ordinary differential equations or a set of equations of motion, what your function is going to do is it's going to go ahead and linearize it. It's going to go through this process of calculating all of these partial derivatives. Um, and what we talk about in these videos, in fact, I outline in this video um, down here exactly how to build this function. And what we're going to do is at the end of the day here at part A, you're going to have a MATLAB function that can hopefully linearize almost any set of equations of motion. And then just go ahead and apply that to the RCAM model. Right. And at the end of the day, we end up with our X dot is equal to AX plus BU, or I guess technically it's a Delta X dot is equal to A plus Delta X plus B Delta U. Again, in the videos, I discuss what this Delta means and why we've got it here. Um, but again, I'll, I'll leave you to, to watch the videos and pro that will provide a little bit more context on this notation. Um, but yeah, that's all we're doing here in part B is linearize your RCAM model and come up with a linear model. And then go ahead and verify that what you came up with uh, numerically using your own hand code, you get the same result if you use the linear analysis tool. Part D is, okay, let's verify this triply and check it against the linmod function. And then part E is actually interesting. Um, I'm going to make the claim that the last three rows of this A and B matrix 
You actually don't need to use numerical techniques to do this. You can actually analytically calculate them, meaning you can write out the equations by, by hand or in something like Mathematica and analytically calculate these partial derivatives. You don't need to do it numerically. You can do it analytically. So that's what this part E is talking about is just do it by hand, write out the partial derivatives, and make sure that your analytical answer is very, uh, well, I guess I should word this the other way around. Your numerical answer is very close to the correct analytical answer, okay? So, um, yeah, that's the game plan uh, for week eight, is we are just going to linearize our system and then make sure that it has reasonably, reasonable behavior about the trim point. Okay. So with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. Uh, email, me, email me if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, I'll look forward to seeing everyone um, in office hours or uh, next week when we start talking about uh, what are we going to do with these linear models. Okay, I think I'm going to sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.